Dog owners of Reddit, would you cut a five years of your own life and give these to your dog? If so, why? My family and I were on vacation at a cabin in Maine. Got caught walking up from the lake by a bear after dark. Couldn't tell it was a bear until it stood up and the motion light turned on. It was standing over six foot tall between us and the cabin. It fell forward onto its front feet, huffing. It made a noise like a dinosaur. Who shit my pants? Without a sound, my lazy shit dog launched an attack from behind the bear. I'm tearing up thinking about it. I ran the kids into the cabin, grabbed the rifle and spent the next five minutes running through dark woods, trying to follow the sounds of my growling dog and a furious bear. The growling stopped and I could hear the bear running off through the woods. My dog's name is Daisy. She's an English Bull Terrier. She was 15 years old at the time. It took two hours to find Daisy after the bear ran off. She had what looked like road rash along her sides, her hip was broken and her leg was crushed. She was curled next to a tree with her tail thumping the ground. Her white fur all shades of red and pink. This dog is afraid of the Swiffer. I love her so much. I owe Daisy three lives, fuck five years. My OL boy Samson saved me from being jumped, maybe worse, who knows, by these two guys with weapons by knocking one of them to the ground and dragging him all the way to the end of the block by his foot, while the other guy and I stared with dropped jaws. Another time, he helped me de-escalate a crazy situation where I was being robbed at gunpoint in my house. He walked into the room, and one of the guys with a gun took his gun off me to point it at Sam. He told me to call off my dog, so I told Sam everything was fine, and to stay put. He sat down, but it was obvious he was spring-loaded and ready. He never took his eyes off me. I then told the guy to put this gun back on me, because if he shit my dog, I would make him shoot me. Then I told them since they had what they came for, they should leave before things got ugly. I'm fairly certain my subtle confidence plus Sam's steady presence are what led them to leave. I praise him constantly for his discernment. I easily owe him two lives, and would happily give him twenty of my years, if I could. Animals are incredible things. My dog was a hunting dog, his breed is used for hunting wild pigs, and he was scared of our cat, who is five pounds of fluff. Said cat was terrified of the rain and would spend storms camps out in a bathroom cabinet. But when someone tried breaking into our house, both of them were at the front door, heckles raised and ready to tear a strip off someone should the door open. They were not friends but they were definitely teaming up that day. It really is amazing how they seem to know too. My Labrador loves people. She absolutely loves them. She will take pets from anyone and when I've taken her to the dog park she just runs from person to person looking for attention. But one time, one of our roommates was being weird and fumbling with his key and the door and that dog let out the most awful snarl I have ever heard. As soon as he came in, she was fine, but she was going to be damned if she didn't try to scare away the guy she thought was Suspice Gaius. My mom had a Labrador that was amazing. She would follow her around and be with her all the time. She loved going for rides in the car. She loved people as well. Her last day was a big party we had and we could all tell she loved it. We were happy that was her last, instead of a random day. Before I was born, she had her son, seven at the time, older brother, out to get mail. A guy in a book truck comes up to the driveway and asks if she wanted to buy books. The dog immediately started barking and the hair on her back was straight up. She didn't like the guy at all. My mom said no, the dog really didn't like him. She thinks he probably would have kidnapped my brother or other things. We also lived in a farmland area, so our neighbors were pretty far away. We moved now. Animals in general are amazing and should be treated better by everyone. My husband had a cat as a kid that was a total mama cat to him and his sister. She was super protective of them, to the point she would actually follow them to school and Mill would get a call saying please come get your cat. She's disturbing class again. 
I guess one day there was a neighbor who forgot to close his gate and his Doberman spotted Hubs and Sil walking to school and decided to to after them. As they tell it, the dog was growling and snarling at them and they ended up backed into a corner of a fence. Suddenly out of nowhere they hear a mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm